This is a standard cabin layout for these three aircraft types. Various cabin systems are controlled, tested, and monitored by the Cabin Intercommunication Data System, SIDS. The SIDS is composed of two directors, one in active mode and one in hot standby. It is linked to the forward attendant panel, FAP, for control and monitoring of the cabin functions. The director communicates through decoder encoder units, DEUs, with the cabin, passengers, and crew systems. The Programming and Test Panel, PTP, is used to program and test the SIDS. Each main crew station is equipped with a communication system including a handset and an attendant panel, emergency equipment stowage, The A319, A320, and A321 aircraft are equipped with two forward and two aft passenger doors. The cabin interior is equipped with removable panels. All these doors are equipped with the control handle used for door operation. Three assist handles enhance safety during door operation. Two are located on the door frame and one on the door itself. A mechanical indicator for checking the door unlocked locked status. An evacuation device is stowed in a container on the lower part of the door. A control lever is used to arm or disarm the device. A disarmed armed control window indicates the status. The door support arm houses the emergency opening cylinder and the pressure gauge. The emergency opening cylinder has two functions. It is used as a damper in normal opening and closing operations. It can be used as an actuator to assist door opening in an emergency. A gust lock on top of the support arm must be pressed to unlock the door from the open position. Each door has an observation window equipped with a sun shield. Near the window there are two electrical warning indicators. One indicator which comes on white when the slide is armed and the door handle moved up. One indicator which flashes red in case of cabin pressurization when one engine is off and the door is disarmed. The lights are also visible from the outside. The forward attendant panel, FAP, is located at the purser station. The FAP is divided into four parts. The air conditioning panel, optional, the light panel, the audio panel, the water and miscellaneous panel. The programming and test panel, PTP, is located next to the forward attendant panel behind a hinged access door. It is equipped with the cabin assignment module, CAM which contains all the software of customer-specific layouts and defined parameters. The PTP informs the crew about the cabin system's status. All the handsets are identical. They can be used for passenger announcements and for interphone calls. The aft attendant panel, AAP, is located at the rear left crew station. It controls some cabin systems. The attendant indication panel, AIP, is part of the communication system and is located near each main cabin crew station. It displays communication and system related messages. The Area Call Panel, ACP, 
indicates crew communication, pink steady or flashing, passenger call, blue steady, lavatory call, amber steady, lavatory smoke detection, amber flashing. The ACPs are installed in the cabin ceiling at both ends of the passenger compartment. The two forward and the two aft cabin doors are equipped with either a single lane escape slide, as shown on the picture, or a slide raft. The inflation and deployment is automatically initiated when the cabin door is opened in the armed mode. Should the escape slide not inflate automatically, the red manual inflation handle, located on the right hand side of the girt bar, must be pulled. The A319 and A320 aircraft are equipped as follows. The A319, two overwing emergency exits, one on each side. The A320, four overwing emergency exits, two on each side. The A321 aircraft is equipped with four Type 1 emergency doors. The overwing emergency exits control a dual lane escape slide. The overwing escape slide is automatically deployed when an exit is opened. The emergency exit escape slide containers are located in the wing root fairing and the inflation reservoirs are in the aft cargo compartment. Two emergency lights underneath the wing exits illuminate the escape way leading to the escape slide pointed out with red fluorescent arrows. Should the automatic sequence fail, a red handle located in each exit frame, when pulled, activates the manual inflation. The emergency exit escape slides are located in a container under each emergency exit door, and inflation reservoirs are over each door in the overhead stowage compartment. The escape slides of the four emergency exits are of the single lane type. In case of cabin depressurization, oxygen masks automatically drop down. The masks are located over the passenger seats, over each cabin crew station, and in the lavatories. There are always extra masks at all seats, each crew station, and in the lavatories, although the specific layout is optional. Portable oxygen bottles and masks are located in the cabin for first aid purposes. Protective breathing equipment, PBE, is located in the vicinity of cabin crew stations, primarily for use in a smoke-filled environment. The A319, A320 overwing emergency exits can be opened from outside and inside. Inside opening instructions are placarded on the exit frame and on the passenger seat backs. A cover flap protects the control handle. A slide armed indication comes on white when the cover flap is removed. The A321 emergency exits can be opened from outside and inside. Inside opening instructions are placarded on the door frame. All these doors are equipped with a control handle used for door operation. Three assist handles enhance safety during door operation. Two are located on the door frame and one on the door itself. A mechanical indicator is used for checking the door unlocked locked status. A control lever is used to arm or disarm the evacuation device. A disarmed armed control window indicates the status. Each door has an observation window equipped with a sun shield. Near the window there are two electrical indicator warnings. An indicator which illuminates white when the slide is armed and the door handle moved up. An indicator which flashes red in case of cabin pressurization when both engines are off and the door is disarmed. The lights are also visible from the outside. The emergency evacuation alert system may be activated either from the cockpit or the purser station. 
an evacuation signal, and a horn reset push button are located at the purser station, at the aft left crew station, and in the cockpit. On the evac panel in the cockpit, a switch allows the evacuation command to be activated from the purser station and the cockpit, or from the cockpit only. The cargo compartments can be loaded with different types of containers. Full-size container, half-size container, pallet. Rapid decompression panels are installed in the cutouts of the ceiling panels. SIDS directors 1 and 2 are located on rack 80VU in the right-hand avionics bay. Type A and B decoder encoder units DEUs, are located above the cabin ceiling panels. Using the Multipurpose Control and Display Unit MCDU, you can have access to maintenance failure information on the cabin system through the CFDIU and SIDS directors 1 and 2. These two computers belong to the communication system. The system status gives information on the SIDS and all connected cabin systems.